every time you want a new job, your new boss gets to call your old boss and ask that guy if you're a good worker. Well, why would I be here? <laughs> if that guy still liked me, I'd still have a job. We wouldn't even be having this conversation. The whole reason I'm talking to you is because he's a dick. Don't call him. It's going to fuck everything up. I figured out real early, by like my third or fourth job, that uh, you just don't put them on your resume if it didn't end well. I didn't claim to have previous work experience until I was 32 years old. People don't believe me, it works. You just gotta have a story to go with it, right? You just gotta, be, you like fill out the application, you turn it in, they're like, you missed a spot. And you're like, nope, first one. But I'm good at stuff. You'll just have to trust me. Because there is no one you can call to confirm that. Here's the thing, I realize I don't have a lot of experience, but I'm a hard worker, all right? You let me in there, I'm gonna bust it up. It's just that I started kind of late because I was homeschooled. And I don't feel bad about lying because I don't think that they should get to ask all those questions. I think that job interviews should be standardized and the number of questions they get for the interview is based on how much money the job pays. The more money, the more questions. Like if a job pays six figures, you get a ton of questions. But if a job pays minimum wage, I think the entire interview should just be, are you sure you wanna do it? <laughs> You're sure? All right, we'll get you a shirt. Tommy, get him a shirt. It looks like a double XL for sure. But that's not how it works. Some of the worst jobs have the most intense interviews. I don't understand why that is. I applied for a job at Jimmy John's and the dude wouldn't let the references thing go. He was like, you gotta have a reference. You gotta have someone we can call. And I was like, hey man, I am 31 years old applying for a job to make sandwiches. What do you think is happening? I don't know if you need me to draw you a picture, dog. I can, broad strokes, I've been shooting from the hip for a long fucking time, and it has not been working out. So you can hire someone else, but I'm not filling out a worksheet on all the ways I disappointed my mother. We don't do that for way more intimate relationships, you know? You don't get a new girlfriend and have to give her the phone numbers of your last seven girlfriends. Okay, dudes got real quiet all of a sudden. I feel like some of y'all might leave some names off that list. Some of us might even be like, nope, first one. But I'm good at stuff, you'll just have to trust me. Because there is no one you can call to confirm that. Here's the thing, I realize I don't have a lot of experience, but I'm a hard worker. You let me in there, I'm gonna bust it up. It's just... It's just I started kinda late because I was homeschooled. 